consequence? Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know the full extent of his captaincy in the sense of is he going to be a one-man band or does he have the option to bring in some outside help? I think as far as he's playing on the pool table, he's very relaxed type of character. It's not, it's not really what he feels like he needs to do to get the best out of himself. So I think the actual aspect of playing the game, he'll be okay. But I'm very interested to see if he just decides to do it on his own or bring somebody else in. Quite a few top players who enjoyed a buy in the first round, Woodward. Wayne Rook, celebrity players. Robert Hart, brother of Kevin Hart. Rook won 9-4 of the tournament so far. Pinch a bit of this and hold the cue ball nicely. Maybe draw it back a couple of inches. It's going to it too much or not enough. <clears throat> Pinpoint. Now Woodward has got a bit of a weird shot into the corner. He found it. It was. First blood, efficiently drawn, with the exception of his misplayed play. Yeah, so he's at a good age, he's at the right age. Where's this two ball going to finish? He'll play the nice hook here. Derby City Classic, nine ball champion in 2019. Texas Open champion the same year. A couple of times he's won the MVP. Two ways about it. Maybe it's just decision making at, at the, the right time. You know, we've seen that with Elliot didn't we, in the last match. Just a couple of shots where. Well, that was. That was brave. He could see the two ball, decide to play the kick. Our day, Phil. Well, he clearly doesn't think that his opponent offers that much of a, a headache. Sports sometimes, they bite you. Knew he had a big... Does he have to send the cue ball round the angles? This needs to travel. It's got to go some. About these events, 256 players, and it's not just the top guys who are here, it's the real enthusiasts as well. What an experience for him! Deceptive angle here. Very close to the centre pocket, but Woodward doubles the advantage to just step out there and try and do some serious damage I feel like the look of the draw might play a part you know if we get a couple of couple of players that play like you Phil that would help but ran into a monster yesterday let me tell you that he had a lot of the opportunities early on against me and he took them I want to see what he's going to do against one of the big players on the circuit but I was very impressed
there's a loser's side match on table 16 at the moment. I would... Look at the action. Watch outside pocket. It's going close. He knew as soon as he hit it, just hit that point and stay on the table. But Wayne with his first rack. No, this is not going to get the job done. I think. Although he's rescued it with a fine bank on the seven. Perfect on the eight. The seven ball was the kind of bank you might off. Lovely stuff. Wayne Rook off the mark. He can always say, I took a rack off Scarlett Woodward at the UK Open at the very least. Well done. Box office strikes again. I'm sure if you ask him, he'll deny it, but it's true. It'll be on the record, but somewhere. Dry break here, back at the action. It's in a terrible spot. Not so much terrible when there's a lot of balls on, because you can play an easy safe, but... If it was like near the end of the rack and that was the him up behind this purple five. A lot. It was a big shot to try, at least, at least. He'll take a gamble, won't he? Crash into the cluster, try and open them up, like so. Scale with the bank shot into the corner, trying to draw the cue ball back. He really is a fantastic banker of the ball. But Sky is right up there when it comes to that kind of shot as well, I agree fully. Thumps the eight in up the rail. Three one it is. The loss of the third rack, maybe just a, a mere blip for the. So I'm glad to say Imran Majid is in position. Thanks for joining us, Imran. And you know Skyler well. Okay, he's in a match of pear shaped from there. <laughs> So he's, he's still going to, you know, bear down and uh, have 100% concentration. Um, uh, I had a shaky first, first match. Uh, I was just getting used to the conditions, and it's my first tournament back uh, after a long time. It, this is the first major event on the World Nine Ball Tour. So, uh, yeah. It's very encouraging. Ko Ping Han, the youngest of the Ko brothers, and he discovered your abilities. I'm um, trying my best against the, the, the younger one and, and showing what I'm made of. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, luckily I played well. I always think those three should open up a business. Co, co, co and co. <laughs> uh, yeah, good stick. Um, can, can lose his concentration now and then. But uh, when, he's, uh, when he's buzzing, when he's on a roll, he can... Uh... So which part of London does he hail from? Um, I'm not too sure, but he plays um, our amateur circuit in, a, in and around London. But he's been playing for quite some years now, and uh, yeah, he's uh, gaining experience. And that's the point I was making earlier. But regardless of that, it is a wonderful experience, as you say. Absolutely, for every single player who plays here, even the experienced players, um, these World Nine Ball uh, events are coming. I wouldn't, he's in, in, inconsistent um, at a top level. 
I think uh, you hit the nail on the head. He can he can play very very well. For example, last year in the Spanish Open, he demolished Copenhagen nine zero or something. He plays all the other disciplines like bank pool and one pocket. And uh, also a big thing is he's always in the shadow of Shane Van Boning, who's um, you know one of the greatest players of all time. Bits of him. So he's definitely in good company all the time. And that's what you need as a, an aspiring pool player. That was a bad miss by Wayne. Confidence. The one thing you've got to do in Wayne Rooks, as well as the guy I'm up against, but I've never been involved in the front of the television cameras before on such a, a big stage. And he's thinking, can I cope with it? Should I be here? Well, the answer is yes. Just play naturally. And Get on with it. Um, great experience for him, nevertheless. Skyler's losing the cue ball a bit here. In that exit from the World Championship last week against Stuart Bingham in the quarterfinals. I commentated on that match, and quite often when he played a bad shot, he could be heard to say, Shh. I've seen Wayne jump before. He does jump okay. There you go. What a great jump shot. Excellent, excellently executed. It's got a high percentage of getting them. So what's the strength of this in the UK's capital? Is London a hotbed? Well, absolutely. London is absolutely different tours. Um, now, I could name them if I can remember them all. The SMB tour, the Total Nine Ball tour, GB Nine Ball tour, and there's, there's a couple of others. So, yeah, we're sport for choice at the moment. And this has all transpired after the, you know, the recent boom a couple of years ago, Matchroom, you know, um, putting on these tournaments. I think it could over, overtake darts. One of the great things about pool is that it's so enjoyable to play, even if you're just picking up a cue for the first time or you only play very occasionally. It's not... You know, even bottom-level amateurs can clear the table uh, without any problem. Just talking about recreationally, hours upon hours to even think about making a half-century break, let alone a century. Whereas with pool, I'm not saying you can compare as, you know, put in five, six, seven hours every single day. And, uh, you know, it shows in their results. That's another bad shot by Skylar. Or, you know, I could be in trouble here. Anything can happen on the hill. Um, I let my foot off the gas and that's exactly what happened. Come on, Wayne. He's just settle it a little bit before he strikes. Mm, yeah. These are tight pockets, mind you, and I, I do feel for some of the amateur players too. But you know, now we've got to adapt. Another graphic illustration of just how tight they are. Uh, Gary Wilson missed quite a few balls in that match, and you wouldn't expect that from a snooker player, but. You, you get a bit of side spin, unwanted side spin on the cue ball, and you can miss the pot by miles. And that's what people fail to realize. They think it's an easy game, but I was actually coaching Ronnie O'Sullivan when he was training for the IPT. We had a couple of sessions down our club, and it was I was amazed at the amount of balls he was missing. It was just... Um, <clears throat> but once they get their head around it, you know, these top snooker players, give them two, three years, and uh, they soon find out the intricacies of the game and how to play the shots. That's better speed control for seems like he's settling in now. I think he's coming back. He didn't draw that the intended way. Very nice shot. 
he absolutely pinged that on the sweet spot. And Radislav Babica, who's been around for an age, the Polish veteran, 5-2 up on Pius Labutis. It was a nice break-off by Skyler. Uh, didn't have a, an attack, attacking shot on the two ball and hasn't played the best of safeties. Nice bank shot, Wayne. Come on, run these out. Quite a big poker player is Wayne Rook. Plays um, some big cash tournaments and some cash games. Well, the famous gambler of yesteryear, Amarillo Slim. Who... Oh. Oh my God, Miss Q, chalk your Q, Wayne. Poker players, and another poker player who's a, a very good stick is uh, Daniel Negrano. He plays very good, Paul, he's a run-out player. Tiff star, isn't he, in the world of poker? So that's what you call a good player, is it a good stick? Yes. <laughs> I like it, I'll use that myself. <laughs> It's an old snooker terminology from back in the day. Yeah, people used to come up to me, oh, you're a pretty good stick. Finish. Prospect. Louis Trong An, 8-7 up on Ralph Suke. And Carlo Biardo being given a tough match against Daniel Corrieri of Italy. Wayne's got to try and come up with a pretty good safety here. A nine, but that's very, very difficult. And you need a good touch. He did try that and uh, not bad, not a bad leave. Yeah, nice shot. That wasn't easy. About the game, it's instinctive. Yes, and I do believe that transpires from playing other discipline, other disciplines like one pocket and um, bank ball, America, compared to um, like Europe. And uh, it was better than it looked actually, and there's actually a technique behind it. If you saw his backswing, it was very, very minuscule, maybe a one inch backswing, because he's queuing over a ball. Of information like that, that can help you uh, for particular shots. Yeah, the, the top players, they seem to maintain their feel and accuracy under pressure. That's what makes the difference. So at the conclusion of this rack, I'm going to ask you a question, Imran, that I posed to Carl Boys right at the start of the match regarding Woodward's Moscone Cup captaincy. Let's just see him pop these two balls and then I'll ask away. Eight one on the hill with minimal fuss so it's in this game and um i think uh he could uh, lead america to a, a victory I'm not saying this year or next year but i think down the line if for me what skyler's um toughest task may be in the Moscone Cup task. Yes, because individually... Said than done, he ha does have the, the weight of the whole team on his shoulders. But uh, I think that will be reduced now because we have Fedor, another world, uh, you know, one of the best players in the world. So it should take... A BJ Usseri might make his debut this year if he continues to perform well. Who knows? Shane Walford. 
plenty of talent to choose from. Wayne's not, not quite there in this match. I've seen him play much better. He can run racks. I think maybe the occasion and the equipment is getting... And opponent. Yep. See, that was a very nice shot. It didn't look much, but to hit the rail, then hit the... Looks like he's going for this. Did he get lucky? No, not quite, I think. Scott. The Gary Wilson 9-8 win over Elliot Sanderson. And this one looks set to be a blow. How, how, how did that match go? Well, Sanderson led 8-6 and he had a thin nine ball to win it. It deprived him of ideal position, but he missed the nine there. And Wilson fought back and got the verdict. Oh, but oh that's thick, yep. There's more to this match yet. I'm sure you can run these out. I've seen so many players miss some easy shots, top players as well. It's quite mind-boggling. Still got to give this some attention, Wayne. Yes, well done, Wayne Rook. Yes, stroked in with authority, that one. Crunching break. And has a shot, not easy to get position on. Nothing got a rail. Oh, it's millimeters away from that long rail, the cue ball. Uh, I don't think it hit. Yeah, Skyler's correct. I will bear down and full focus and run out this rack to end the match. We'll just need a nice angle on the six ball to get on the seven ball, which doesn't go in the corner. It's path to the corner. So it wants to go forward a touch here, maybe. He can play it that way too. I think he's going to cut it in the side and play the seven in the side. That would be the most um, easiest route. Wayne Rook won a couple of racks, but Skyler Woodward, after a first round bye, no real strain involved in that. A nice, easy run out. He comes through by nine racks to two. He advances to winner's qualification.